I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. We all know bees are in real trouble. So what can you plant in your garden to attract bees? Borage. Borage is a bee magnet, <laughs> but it's also a big bully. <laughs> Besides being a bee magnet, borage is edible. You can put the flowers in salads and the leaves you can put in soups and it's a great chop and drop fertilizer. And um, if you don't want to do a lot of planting in your garden, don't worry because borage will do the planting for you. Borage is a self seeder like nobody's business. <laughs> Let's try a flower. They're delicate and beautiful. Seriously. Okay, that looks bug free. Well, that's interesting. That's the first one I've eaten. <laughs> Borage grows fast. My first plant shot up from a few leaves to a large plant with hundreds of blooms in six weeks, June of 2014. I love Borage. Borage grows all year here in Zone 11A, but there are many more blooms and bees in summer. Bees begin foraging in their favorite gardens at temperatures above 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and we have many warm days all through the winter, so growing borage provides food for bees. Did you know a bee can carry its weight in pollen on its legs? Look at that pollen on those legs. <laughs> this is wild arugula, which has started to bloom and bees absolutely love that as well. Uh, German chamomile, it's running over. More arugula down there, but you see um, it just keeps pushing out and pushing out and it's blocking the sun from my sweet peas on the back side. Let's go over here and you can see how the borage is running over the potatoes. I've got one, two, three pots of potatoes, but look at this big old piece. It just keeps coming. I mean, it's wonderful stuff, but you've got to be able to manage it. And these stalks push up very fast and carry a lot of weight. And sometimes they grow so fast that they just collapse just breaks off. Too heavy. But it doesn't die. It just curves and uh, shoots up another healthy looking thing. Okay, let's look over here. This thing is massive. And it just started out one little plant. And now it's running over the garlic. And on this side, the society garlic just under there somewhere. And it's starting to run over this geranium. <laughs> oh yes, and over here, some seed popped into that little pepper plant. It's growing in this grapevine pot and it's jumped across the driveway and it's growing into the garlic bed over here. As you can see, the leaves are tasty to some critter, but the plant is so prolific, I don't worry too much about that. I would wager there's more borage blooms in a square foot than any other plant, and it just keeps blooming for months. This is February. It's gone all winter. Borage isn't the only thing that self-seeds. <laughs> I could just let this entire garden just self-seed and do its thing. <laughs> pretty. Upon closer inspection, the massive plant was covered in aphids. So to keep a clean garden, that had to go. I got a little help from lady beetles, but not enough. I decided it was time to clear out some borage. 
surprisingly small roots supported two massive stems. Borage is loaded with nutrients, especially essential fatty acids and potassium, and is available as an herbal supplement. Dry leaves for tea or use leaves fresh. Leaves are said to have the flavor of cucumbers. <laughs> we'll see about that. You know, that's good. It didn't smell that good. But it tastes good. Be even better with a little bit of honey. Mm. You want some? You want some? If you enjoyed this video, please share with a friend. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. That is incredibly uncomfortable. Is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a bug off of there. <laughs>